Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Waller's Wallet and we're now in quarter four and there have been some changes to my credit card rotation. So let's take a look at what's in my wallet. Now, if you want a simple way to help out the channel, consider hitting that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn that bell notification on as well so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, as for a wallet that I'm currently using, I am currently using the Nomadic wallet and the people at Nomadic were kind enough to send this over to me to test out. So a big thank you to the Nomadic team for doing that. Now, I love the Nomadic travel bag and I'm happy to be testing out and using their wallet as well. Now, I do plan to have a review on this wallet coming in the upcoming weeks or so, and there might even be a possible giveaway of a wallet. But this wallet is a super lightweight wallet and it's extremely thin as well and it can hold a lot of credit cards. And for a wallet that only costs 20 bucks, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. But you know what? Let's talk about the cards in my wallet because that's probably why you're watching this video. And the first card that's in my wallet is the USAA Cashback Reward Plus card because this card earns 5% back on gas purchases up to $3,000 a year. And I haven't even come close to spending that amount of money on gas purchases this year on this card. But with the holidays coming up in just a few months, we'll probably be filling up the gas tank a little bit more as we drive around to see some family. But I can't argue with 5% back for my gas purchases. It's a great earning rate and the rewards deposit in my account pretty quickly as well, which always makes me happy. And if you're someone who can get in with USAA, I think this is a pretty great card for gas, even though it lacks a sign up bonus. Then the next card that's in my wallet that really shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone is the Bank of America Premium Reward Card. And that card lives in my wallet pretty much full time. Because with my Platinum Honor status, I get a solid 2.63% back on all my non-bonus spend. So it makes it pretty hard to take this card out of my wallet because that's just a great earning rate for non-bonus spend. And I do value this earning rate more than I value a Chase Freedom Limited and a Chase Sapphire Reserve combination any day of the week. Then we have the Chase Freedom Flex card. This is actually a new card for me after converting my old Chase Freedom card to it. And right now the Freedom Flex is earning 5X at Walmart and PayPal. And this even includes using PayPal Key. And I have been using this online when I pay with PayPal. I even recently bought a $500 gift card to Target. Since Target was offering 5% off on Target gift cards, then I paid with PayPal to earn 5X back as well. And since we shop at Target pretty regularly, this saves me quite a bit of money and I earn some rewards as well. Then if I need to do any shopping whatsoever at Walmart, 5X is great to earn at Walmart as well. Then any points I earn with my Freedom Flex, I plan to just move these points to my wife's Chase Sapphire Reserve and use the pay yourself back benefit at 1.5 cents per point. And also this card is going to become my new card for cell phone payments because it has $800 in cell phone protection, which I find fantastic, especially considering I'm buying a new iPhone 12 soon. Then we have the Bank of America Cash Reward Card. Now I usually have one of my cash rewards in my wallet specifically for dining purchases since I earned five and a quarter percent back for dining with this card. And this is a slight change because I did go from using the red Visa version to using the Susan G. Komen card. Now this card is also going to be my grocery spend card since I earned three and a half percent cash back for my grocery purchases as well. But while this may not seem like a big deal switching out versions of my cash reward card, I still am in my three month period of opening the Susan G. Komen cash reward card. And that means for every transaction I make, Bank of America is going to donate money to the Susan G. Komen Foundation. So while it's not a big change for me, it does help others with these donations. So for that reason, I did make the change to make my red visa card more of my wild card option here. Then one of my other cash reward cards is being used for online purchases since it also earns five and a quarter percent. But this card is behind my Freedom Flex card if a merchant takes PayPal. But if the merchant doesn't take PayPal, then my Bank of America Cash Reward card here becomes my primary card for online purchases. And since it is around the holiday time, I do plan to be doing plenty of online shopping, including the upcoming Amazon Prime Day. But honestly, I love my Bank of America setup and I would be very happy just keeping my four Bank of America cards because they just earn so well for me. Then the last card that is currently in my wallet is the cash card. And this card has made its way into my wallet for situational use because the boost options on the cash card are actually pretty decent. I have options on it for 10% cash back on grocery spend up to $75 spend. 
and I even recently saw I have a dollar off coffee shop purchases and even Wendy's is on there, which I recently had that new pretzel bun burger and it was actually pretty good. And I do drink coffee pretty regularly throughout the day, so buying a regular coffee for a few bucks and then getting one dollar off that is actually a pretty decent return. But now the cash card is not a credit card, it's a debit card. But the boost offers do make this a good option for certain categories. Now my wallet for quarter four has fewer cards in there and since there aren't any extra promotions on my cards like for the Chase Sapphire Reserve, I've taken those cards out of my wallet. It just doesn't serve me any purpose right now, but if that changes, then I'll be sure to put it back into my setup. But my setup has a few minor changes to it, but the same principles for myself still apply. I'm cash back for my day-to-day -day rotations, and then I have other cards for their bonuses, which I did just open a new card for my wife, and I already hit the spending requirement before that card has even come in the mail. I guess that's the silver lining to receiving the bills for having a new baby. So big thanks to my little man for helping us earn more travel. But that's what my current setup currently looks like. But you know what? Let me know in the comments what your current quarter four setup looks like as well. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this video. If you want to help support the channel, take a look at the links down in the description below. And if you know somebody that could benefit from this video, feel free to share it with them. Until next time, safe travels and take care.